Yo, what's going on guys? And we're hearing right now that Christoph Porzingis is being discussed by the Wizards and Celtics in an opt-in and trade deal. We knew that Christoph was considering either opting in or signing an extension with the Wizards. But teams like the Lakers and Celtics have, and several other contenders have called up the Wizards. We know the Celtics deal has the most ground made. So Kristoff is making $36 million. So you're thinking, how can Boston trade for Kristoff? It's going to be built around Malcolm Brogdon is the natural assumption. My first assumption is Malcolm Brogdon packaged with Al Horford brings you to $32 million. You can include Peyton Pritchard. The deal works. If you do Peyton Pritchard, Al Horford, and Malcolm Brogdon, deal works. Now, another way that this deal could also work, and maybe you don't have to give up Al Horford, is you can trade Malcolm Brogdon. Grant Williams is allegedly going to be sign is being discussed in a sign and trade. So you can send Grant Williams in a separate transaction of a sign and trade. And I know some people say you can't package players in a sign and trade, but Colin Sexton, Larry Market, and Ochai Abaji were packaged for Donovan Mitchell, and Colin Sexton was signed and traded there. So I'm pretty sure you can, but I don't know if you can sign and trade someone in a three team trade to a different team and then bring in a player. So I won't tell me down below. But right here, the easiest way to get this deal done is Brogdon, Horford, and either Payne Pritchard or Mike Muscala, or Daniel, Daniello, Daniello Gallinari with. Malcolm Brogdon, and then Payne Pritchard and Mike Muscala. Now, I have said this before, that I personally believe that Christoph Porzingis is worth, like the, his worth is, is it? he had a great year this year. He had a great year this year, and he's a guy who's been getting bigger. That is that, you know, I think right here, when I look at this situation with Kristaps, is he just came off a career year. I think his value is actually up in comparison when he got traded from the Mavericks. Guy who averaged a career high 23 points with the Wizards this past year. Played 65 games, which was the most games he's played since his third, his second NBA season. All right. Grabbed eight and a half rebounds. And this is, he's still young. People don't realize Kristaps is 27 only. Yes, it's felt like he's been in the league for a decade because he's practically has been in the league for a decade since 2015. But I think he's definitely someone that could really help the Celtics out. And you know the Celtics love them foreign boys. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What do you think Christoph Porzingis' trade value is? Um, Yeah, that's it. I'm going to head out. Peace out, everybody.